honestly, the new like Rings of Power series, which is supposed to be based on like the J.R. Tolkien Lord of the Rings, you know, films and whatnot and books. It's horrible. Yeah, it, it's it's as though that fire demon, like the Belrog, you know, the Belrog. It's like it's like the Belrog sat on the entire Middle Earth for crying out loud. And, and then all of Middle Earth cried out in fiery, agonizing voice as one claiming, goodness gracious, great balls of fire, right? Because the bell rock sat on him. And then, and, then, and then before being snuffed out of existence, you know, seriously, so how is, Holly, how is it that Hollywood keeps taking like the most valuable IPs, the most valuable intellectual property that any idiot could make money on them, and then they and then they turn it into crap. How is it they keep doing that, man? And then pe you know what people do when you ask that? They say, "Well, because it's capitalism, dude. It's capitalism that messed up the movies." But but th this behavior is not capitalistic. Okay, this is like this is not Hollywood. S s seems to have a very generic production roadmap that mo it, it looks more like a Soviet Union type shoe factory producing you know millions of pairs of two left shoes which fall apart on impact with water seriously i mean it's amazing that's not what happens in a capitalistic system i mean you, dude you could hire a YouTuber to write a better script than, than, than what we, we repeatedly get what is happening. You know, a script that, you know, it actually aligns with the actual universe that you're writing for. That's what the point, that's what you're trying to do. When Honestly, like, like if, if you fail with an intellectual property like Tolkien's Lord of the Rings or Star Wars or Marvel, you know that's on you you know that's on that's ridiculous that's like dude that's like a that's like a basketball team being stacked with like a in their prime player kobe bryant michael jordan lebron james larry bird all on the same team all in their prime and still losing to like to like a high school special needs girls team for crying out loud i'm talking like a like a high school special needs girls team that, do, that doesn't even have any trunes on it, you know, for, that you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it shouldn't happen. That's, that's not capitalism. That's, like, that's having everything you could possibly need to win and still somehow being a loser. That's what that is. That's what that is. It's like, oh, it's capitalism. That's why it sucks. Dude, no, it's not. They're, they're losing money. Do you... Can, can, Ca capitalists like to make money often by making stuff that's actually good you know stuff that people actually like stuff after which people buy you don't feel like you just got scammed you feel you don't feel dirty afterwards because you feel like you know scams are a short-term grift which can make money uh but 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 they're not actually a business right a scam isn't a business if 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 they made like one movie that was that was really cheap and bad and and then slapped a token label on it or something like that that would be a scam making money in the short run cashing in their goodwill their good brand name recognition in the long run so it's short run profits off of long run reputation damage so i get that but that but but but, but look making show after show movie after movie that's not actually cheap but really really expensive crap that kills the brand name and loses money that's that's not smart business that's not even a smart scam that's ridiculous and, and plus you know like a, a scammer can only sell you a pip a piss popsicle one time right by calling it like lemon flavored or something but but that's it, right? Then, then you're done because your rep, your your goodwill is gone, your reputation's lost, your brand is destroyed. I mean, seriously, <laughs> turning the work of the most painstakingly well-crafted fantasy universe from a war veteran professor who basically single-handedly created the fantasy genre that so many of us enjoy into like a modern day moral ambiguity everything is morally gray soap opera i mean it's beyond sad so how 
How do you take the well the uh, How do you take the most well-crafted universe ever and treat it and treat it as though you're slapping together like episodes of the Muppets? You know? You know, call me what you will, but this this kind of per, this kind of performance deserves to be mocked. Dang it, mocked ruthlessly. And it, and and to the many YouTubers building their YouTube career doing just that, I say Good luck and God bless them. So it's 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 not the good people of Middle Earth that the deserve to be smothered by a fire Belrog demon thing. It's the creators of this abomination that repeatedly keep doing the same damn thing, just like a Soviet shoe production factory that produces shoes that fall apart on impact with water. Those are the ones that should be screaming in terror. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire!